What's going on guys? This is the Wobblefit, here with a mechanic short about 16-bit HP truncation, which was discovered and tested by battle mechanics researcher Sadistic Mystic. Today's video is a proof of concept that it is possible to deal zero damage in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And not just in the trivial ways like using false swipe on a Pokemon with 1 HP, or breaking out of skies, or having the attack be immune, or something simple like that. If you're not familiar with my collaboration with Wolfie about damage overflow, I highly recommend you watch that video if you get stuck on the math, as I will only be briefly covering the math to explain why this works. To start off, I've skill swapped away Fluffy from my Stuffle, as well as Adaptability from my Skrelp. I'm going to be giving Adaptability to my Primal Groudon, and I'll also be passing Fluffy over to my Scizor. Adaptability's effect allows moves that are Stab to deal 2 times damage instead of the normal 1.5 times damage, and Fluffy lets Scizor take only half damage from contact moves, but doubles the damage that it takes from fire type attacks. This will come in handy for Primal Groudon's Eruption attack, increasing the amount of damage the attack will be doing. This Groudon has 188 special attack after Primal Reversion, and I haven't done anything else to change it. Next up, we'll apply some extra modifiers to Scizor. This Scizor is level 2 because I wanted it to have 8 special defense, so I can cut it in half with this fake tiers and bring it down to effectively 4 special defense. Next, I'll have Scizor be afflicted with Forest Curse, which adds Grass type to Scizor. I'll use Iron Head with my Scizor, just to get Yamask out of the way with its Eject button, since I don't want Sun up on the field for the purposes of this damage calculation. Now with all of our setup done, let's see what happens! So a level 50 Aegislash couldn't stand up to Eruption, but our level 2 Scizor could! Now, let's see what happens now that Iron Head has damaged Primal Groudon, and as a result, weakened the power of Eruption. One hundred and fifty base power eruption from Primal Groudon, no fear. One hundred and forty nine base power eruption from Primal Groudon, one fear. Let's briefly go over the math for this damage calculation. Our pre base damage modifiers are relatively straightforward. Groudon doesn't have any modifiers to its special attack, so it's just at its starting value of one hundred and eighty eight. Eruption is also at full power because Groudon is at full health, so that's one hundred and fifty base power. The only thing of note is that Scizor's starting special defense was 8, but we cut that in half by using fake tiers on it, dropping it down to 4. Plugging these numbers into the base damage formula, we also need to plug in Primal Groudon's level, in this case, 50. This slide and the following slide show me going through the base damage formula to arrive at 3,104 base damage. The only damage modifier that exists in our setup prior to the damage rules is that Eruption is a spread move. 3,104 times 3 over 4 gives us an even 2,328, no rounding required. The damage rolls for a move that deal 2,328 damage at this point are shown. In my particular example, the only way I can get 0 damage is if I land on the 4th damage roll, 2,048. In testing for this, it only took me 9 tries to hit it, so I got relatively lucky. After the damage rolls, I need to account for adaptability, the 8x super effectiveness, and fluffy. Although they technically get multiplied separately, it ends up coming out to be exactly 65,536, assuming we hit that damage roll we wanted earlier. The final modifiers are all done, so the game does its normal check to make sure an attack can't be zero damage. Except because it didn't place this check at the end of damage calculation, the 16-bit HP truncation check that occurs after it can make the damage zero. So that's why it was zero. As a result of this check, it is not possible for any attack in Pokemon to deal more than 65,535 damage in Generation 7, 
That is the maximum amount of damage. Finally, just as a point of reference, here's a screenshot of the Trainer Tower Damage Calculator. You can't add three types on these damage calculators, unfortunately, but you can see that the fourth damage roll is 32,768. And if you multiplied that by another two, you'd get 65,536, which is what we got from our calculation earlier.